Hello so guys, welcome back sa akin channel. Ako nga pala si Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Governor Luis A. Ferrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic nyo sa mathematics. I will be discussing to you about experiment, outcome, sample space, and event, which is under Mathematics 8, quarter number 4, week number 5. Gagamit pa rin tayo dito ng learner's packet o kaya ng lead as our material. Have you ever rolled dice in a floor? Select a contestant by tossing a coin. Or get a chance to pick an ace in a deck of cards? All of these events involve probability. When we say probability, it is a measure or estimation of how likely it is that an event will occur. So it can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Kasi pag sinabi nating fraction, halimbawa 1 half, pwede natin itong express as a decimal. I-divide mo lang yung 1 divided by 2, makukuha natin ang 0.5. Pag ginawa naman nating uh, percent, i-move mo lang yung decimal point, Two places sa the right, kaya mag ka na 0, kaya magiging 50, then saka natin na fix yung uh, percent. Kaya yung 1 half ay equal kay 0 0.5, equal kay 50%. Pag pinag-usapan natin yung likeliness, pag-aralan natin itong probability line. So, pag sinabi natin impossible to happen, ang likeliness nun ay 0, hindi pwedeng mangyari. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Um, bigay tayo ng example. Halimbawa, getting a 7 in... Uh, rolling a die. So, wala ka naman sabi niya, kaya impossible to happen. Pag sinabi naman nating unlikely, ang ibig sabihin nito ay less likely, maliit yung chance na mangyari. Halimbawa, picking a 1 in a die, di ba? In rolling a die. So, 1 out of 6, kaya medyo less likely o kaya unlikely. Pag sinabi naman nating even chance, so, equal yung chance na makakapili ka dito ng head o kaya naman ng uh, kay tail. So dito naman, ito naman ang likely, ibig sabihin, malaki na yung chance na masiselect mo halimbawa yung blue ball kasi meron kang 4 out of 4 out of 5 kaya more likely na mangyayari yung makapag-select ka dito ng blue ball. Tapos pag sinabi naman nating certain, ibig sabihin, 100% ang mangyayari yon halimbawa, picking a number less than a 7 in rolling a die. So lahat ng numbers na yon ay less than 7 kaya there is a 1 or 100% of selecting or picking a number less than 7 in rolling a die. So, certain to happen. We are going to try to give an example. So, consider na nito. Ano ba? What is the probability of getting a 3 in uh, rolling a die? Kaya, what is the probability of getting an even number? Or, what is the probability of getting an odd number? Or, uh, what is the probability of a number less than 3? Something like that. So, those are the examples of uh, probability. Another important uh, term na dapat mong tandaan is experiment. It is a process that has a number of distinct possible outcomes in which the result cannot be predicted with certainty. We say distinct different uh, outcomes. Okay? We say certainty ay hindi tayo makakasiguro kung ano ba yung mangyayari. It is also a process of repeating an activity whose outcomes are limited to a well-defined uh, choices. When say uh, repetition, pwede nating itos ang coins, pwede twice, pwede thrice, pwede four times, pwede five times, and so on and so far. Kaya meron tayo na na rep replication or repeating an activity. When say well-defined uh, choices, ibig sabihin, alam natin kung ano yung uh, kaya natin identify kung ano yung uh, makukuha natin. Example, meron tayo ditong tossing ang coins twice. So, well-defined yung magiging uh, outcomes natin dito kasi possible is either head-head, head-tail, tail-head, o kaya naman ay head-head. So, siya ay well-defined choices. The examples of uh, experiment are pwedeng rolling, uh, rolling dice, pwedeng uh, selecting four aces, o kaya naman pwedeng uh, tossing a coin. Tapos, pag nakakita ka ngayon ng word na die, ang ibig sabihin nito, it is a singular form of dice. Pagka dice plural, pagka die ay singular. Since dito meron tayong dalawa, kaya rolling dice. Pero pag isa, rolling a die. Hindi siya, hindi pagugulong yung pataya. So we have uh, die means singular of dice. The next important uh, term is outcome. Is any possible result of an experiment? 
for example of experiment, flipping a coin or rolling uh, a die. So, ang magiging uh, outcome natin dito is either head or tail. Kaya may or tayo dito kasi possible na head or possible na tail. Tapos, kapag sinabi naman natin rolling a die, is either uh, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. O kaya naman, any number from 1 to 6. Ito yung illustration natin. Siyempre, ito naman yung possible na pwede natin ma-select in rolling a die. Next, let us proceed with a sample as piece. It is a set of all possible. Possible outcomes or sample points. All ha, total. So, it is denoted by S while the number of sample space is denoted by N of S. Ito yung N natin, cardinality in the sample space. Kung mabalikan natin yung given natin kanina, ang sample space natin dito ay head or tail. Huwag kakalimutang maglagay ng pair of braces kasi it is a set of the elements. Okay? Kaya dapat may braces. Then, ang magiging enrolling aday naman natin dito, ang magiging sample space siyempre natin dito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, 6. So, syempre, ilang elements or ilang uh, outcomes meron tayo dito in rolling or flipping a coin. So, meron tayong dalawa. Tapos dito, meron tayong uh, total of uh, 6. Sample point naman is just one of the possible outcomes. So, in flipping two coins, ang sample point natin is either head-head o kaya pwede mamili ka dito. Then, in rolling a die is either 5 o kaya pwede ka mamili sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tapos dito kay uh, rolling a coin and a die Sim simultaneously, ibig sabihin magkasabay, ang magiging uh, sample space natin dito ay head 1, head 2, head 3, head 4, head 5, head 6, o kaya naman tail 1, t2, t3, t4, t5, and at t6. Siyempre, pwede ka mabili doon ng kahit anong uh, sample uh, space. At sabi ko sa inyo dito, huwag kakalimutan itong lagyan ng a pair of, okay, so we have braces, okay? Tapos pagdating dito kay uh, drawing a card from a deck of 52 cards so meron tayong 13 diamonds from ace to okay, king, 13 hearts and then 13 spades and 13 clubs so hindi tumalungga yan, tawag doon ay clubs ha tapos syempre, ang 13 na yun from ace to uh, king tayo kaya ang magiging sample point natin is either king of hearts so hindi lang pwede natin sabihin king kasi there are 4 different kings in a deck of cards so halimbawa, hindi rin natin pwede sabihin ace lang kasi meron tayong Ace of Diamond, Ace of Heart, Ace of Space, and Ace of Clubs, and so on and so forth. Kaya, a sample point can be chosen in any element of the sample space. Pwede kang pumili dito ng iyong magiging sample point. An event is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given conditions or simply a subset of the sample uh, space. Okay? For example, so, uh, getting a 3 tails, o kaya TTT when flipping a coin thrice. Pwede rin naman sabihin, getting a uh, 2 heads and 1 tail. O kaya naman, pwede 2 tails and 1 head when flipping a coin thrice. So, ang dami natin pwede kuhaning uh, event. Next, choosing a king from a deck of cards and of the 4 kings. O kaya naman, pwede tayong choosing a number I, uh, from a deck of cards. Masa number, hindi pwede ace. Diba? Ang numbers natin daw pwede 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 and 10. O kaya naman, pwede natin sabihin uh, choosing a face card. Okay, ang face card naman natin ay Jack, Queen, and okay, King. So, ang daming event na pwede natin uh, kuhanin in uh, selecting a card from a standard deck of cards. Next, pwede naman natin sabihin getting an odd numbers 1, 3, 5 from rolling a die. O kaya, pwede getting an even numbers pwede 2, 4, 6 when rolling a die. O kaya naman, getting a number less than 7 o kaya naman getting a number greater than 7 or getting a multiples of uh, 2 o kaya pwede getting prime numbers so ang dami pwede natin gawing uh, event in an experiment okay, so punta tayo ngayon kay learning task number 1 title number event so numbers from 1 to 9 are written separately in a piece of paper so they are folded and put in a box a one piece paper is chosen randomly ibig sabihin ng random there is an equal chance of selecting those numbers from 1 to 9. So, what is the event of getting a number? Itong tactic na ito, pag select na number, ang tawag natin dito ay the fish ball uh, method. Para di ba may ball, tapos may sinaselect tayong ganyan, di ba? Okay, so another method na pwede natin gamit aside from putting it in a box and uh, selecting numbers ay pwede tayong gumamit ng spinner, okay? So, pwede naman yung nasa online spinner, tapos i-click mo lang, di mag-spin na yun, di ba? Yung wheel of names, pwede gamitin yun. O kaya naman, Pwede naman yung, uh, pinaka, yung pinapaikot talaga, di ba? So, pwede ganun, okay? So, dito sa gagawin natin dito, papangalan daw natin yung event. Bawa, given at least 3. 
So, pwede nating sabihin that getting numbers at least 3 in numbers uh, 1 to 9 kasi ang given naman natin ay 1 to 9. So, for number 2, ganun tayo. Getting o kaya selecting or picking, pwede natin gamitin. Pero, pwede na ang getting. Getting numbers uh, between uh, 4 and 7 in numbers uh, 1 to 9. Then, for number 3, getting numbers uh, less than 6 in numbers uh, 1 to 9. Yan, number 4, getting numbers at most 5 in numbers uh, 1 to 9. And uh, for number 5, getting numbers greater than 4 in numbers 1 to 9. Next, learning task number 2 on the table. Direction. Complete the table by supplying the correct outcomes, sample space, sample point, and event for each, for each experiment given. Yung nga lang, pagdating sa table, wala tayong event. Siguro, hindi natin kinakala yung summary event. So for number 1, spinning a wheel with letters from A to J. Ang outcome natin dito is any letter from A to J. So, syempre, magiging sample space natin, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, huwag kakalimutan lagi ng uh, pair of uh, braces. Okay? Ang sample point, kahit ano dyan, pwede kang pumili. Next, number 2, tossing of 3 coins. So, meron kang head, head, head. Okay, eto yun. Tapos, next, head, head, tail. Head, tail, head. Head, tail, tail. Tail, head, head. Tail, head, tail. Tail, tail, head, or tail, tail, tail. Para hindi ka mahirapang nakumuha ng um, outcomes, ganito ang gagawin natin. Gawa tayo ngayon ng, ng three diagrams. So, meron kang head or tail. So, magiging outcomes natin dito ay another head or tail. So, since nag-flip tayo ng uh, three coins, okay, nag-toss tayo three coins. So, dito meron pa tayong another head or okay, uh, tail. So, dito ganun din another head or tail. So, dito kay tail, ganun din. Meron kang head or uh, tail. Tapos pagdating dito kay head, another head, tail. Then dito kay tail, another head or tail. Kaya mapapansin mo dito sa una, meron kang head, head, head. Ayun na yun. Sunod, head, head, tail. Ito yun. Sunod, head, tail, head. Ito yun. Head, tail, uh, tail. Ito ngayon yun. Then tail, head, head. Ito yun. Next, a tail, head, tail. Ito yun. Next, a tail, tail, head. Ito yun. Tapos next, tail, tail and then a uh, tail. Ito ngayon yun. Kaya, ang magiging sample space, syempre natin dito ay yun. So, lahat na yun. Dito, meron lang or kasi kahit alin dyan ay pwede maging outcome. Pero dito, huwag na ilalagay yung or. Tapos, ang sample point natin, kahit alin dyan, pwede kang uh, pumili. Okay? So, for number 3, drawing a card from a deck of a red cards only. Kasi namin natin red cards, so we have the diamond or the heart. Kaya, meron kang ace of diamond, two of diamond, three of diamond, hanggang kay king of uh, diamond. Sunod, ace of heart, two of heart, three of heart, hanggang kay king of heart. Kaya magiging sample space natin, yan pa rin yun. Ayan, so meron ka lang ditong uh, pair of braces. Tapos, syempre, ang sample point natin, pumili ka lang doon na kahit alin dyan, pwede ng ace of diamond o kaya hanggang kay king of heart. Pwede tayo maging uh, sample point. Thank you for watching at kung nagustuhan mo yung uh, video natin, so kindly like and uh, share sa mga kaklase mo. Tapos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on para kapag ka in-upload ko yung learning task number 3, huwag ka mag-alala, i-upload na agad natin yan. Sa so, learning task number 3 and then yung assessment ay mononotify ka agad. Hinaki lang natin kasi sobrang haba na magiging uh, video natin. So, see you sa next uh, video natin.